from dealing with a crazy man on the side of the highway to getting into a wild car chase with a dangerous suspect. Stop the car! This eventful day of an Indiana state trooper is absolutely shocking. On June 24, 2022, a trooper from the Indiana State Police Department responded to a potentially dangerous situation. Dispatch informed them of a pedestrian on the freeway who is in crisis and may harm himself. The trooper has no choice but to weave through heavily congested rush hour traffic just outside of Chicago. Nine, F-break, F-break. What do you have to? Doing what I do in detail. Doing what? I do a route count course detail. What's that? It's like, I, well, I do the, I do the same detail as uh, detail from outer space to planet Earth. You find something on the interstate? Is that why you're here? I had to use the balance of the, because of time, of outer space, okay. and the sun and all the planets, the stars, the moons, and the nebula. So you can't be on the interstate, right? It's illegal to be a pedestrian on the freeway in Greater Chicago. But first, officers are going to check to see if the pedestrian has any warrants or alerts as a vulnerable missing person. After confirming he was not a missing vulnerable adult, one of the troopers was able to give the pedestrian a courtesy transport. It's a busy afternoon and the troopers won't catch a break. Next up, they're needed to help with a stall. This doesn't require an emergency response since they're in a safe location. You guys are still here? Yes, I'm back. Hi. How's it going? Doesn't look like it's going well. There's a lot of tools on the ground. Putting the, uh... This is the cop that helped us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The officer luckily had a battery jumper in his vehicle and was able to assist the civilians. But his workday was about to get more interesting and dangerous than simply jumping a vehicle's battery. Just as the trooper was wrapping up, a partner called out a pursuit. Pursuits have been especially dangerous in Indiana, as two troopers were hit and killed last year by fleeing drivers. Here's what started this mess. Even though the suspect was in cuffs, troopers would make some surprising discoveries. Where's the driver's license? You have it in your pocket? It's not going to be him. What's your middle initial, Gordon? Where's the gun? No, I had six in one hand, gun in the other hand, running from my car because they he stopped right here in traffic. All right, man, how much you drink today? Do you want to talk to me or no? All you could really do is HGN, PBT. Wrong as hell. 
And then I heard they kept calling out this car, and I'm like, okay, he's got a Crown Point address. I'm like, I'll sit on the 109th and wait for him to get off here, because it was just an impaired driver. He spots it at the 252 and does not stop him. I'm like, I'm like perfect. Stop six right there. I'm like, it's going to be awesome. Does he have a valid driver's license or anything? I don't know if he was taking his clothes off. Like, oh, you guys are doing this one? No. No, that's not us. They don't treat. They don't teach us that at the academy. All right, man, I got some tests you got to conduct, right? Here. You want to do no tests? You got to look at me, school. You're not going to do any? I have to try to move over here. All right, I got to read this other car, right? You got to How much you drink today? I just want to move over here. I need you to look at it as I read it, so make sure you understand it, right? You could deny it if you want, but I still got to read it, right? Okay. All right, look. I right, probably cause to believe that you have operated a motor just, vehicle with I one just want him, I just want to move right Look, look. Listen to me. Listen to me. Let me read this card, and then we'll go from there, right? You could deny it if you want. That's, that's your right, right? I just got to read it. I have probably cause to believe that you have operated a motor vehicle while intoxicated. I must not offer you the opportunity to submit to a chemical test. And inform me that if you refuse to... Can listen, listen, listen. If you refuse to submit to the chemical test, we'll resolve suspending privileges up to one year. If you have if you have prior convictions of operating while intoxicated, your refusal to submit to a chemical test result is suspension of your dry lens for two years. Do you want to submit to a chemical test? I need a yes or no answer. No, please. Alright, man, I'm gonna get up, right? Just watch your head, right? Alright, look, I'm gonna give you some advice, right? Do you have anything on you? Because when they check you and they find something in the prison, it's a different charge. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a chance right now to tell me, do you have anything? No, you don't want to submit to no chemical or nothing, right? Alright, stop moving your hand. You're gonna, you're gonna mess up your wrist. You're gonna hand you wanna talk about what happened? Is that 231? 231, what? What are you talking about? Is that the road 231? This one is I-65. What? What route were you looking for? 65. Not your first time in the rodeo? Not your first time drinking and driving? Uh, is there any reason why you were drinking and driving? Huh? You're, you're like a whiskey guy, tequila, beer? Nothing particular. Oh. Do you guys have anything? For what? To drink? No, we can't give you nothing. Oh, that. man. No. We can't give you nothing to drink, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, brother. You're doing your job. Yeah. How come, how come you didn't want to stop? When I was behind you, and I turned my lights on, and I kept pressing my, my sirens. Did I? Yeah, and then you reflected me off once. What do you mean? You flicked me off. You stuck the finger at me. No. Yeah, when you got real behind the, the, the great truck that's in front of you. Do you remember? Court records indicate that the suspect was charged with resisting law enforcement, operating a vehicle while intoxicated, following too closely and unsafe lane movement. Out of these four charges, court records indicate three were dismissed and the defendant entered a plea agreement on the OWI. He was sentenced to 60 days in jail with the sentence suspended with a fine of $775.